nice to see everybody. You guys are just so great. You guys are just so wonderful. And that's what I want to say first when we start this stream. Last night, I think none of us will ever forget when this news broke. What's with all this news breaking late in the day? The, the Bob Chapik thing uh, broke really late in the day as well on a Sunday. So the reason I will always remember last night, though, was not that I was proven right, but that so many of you remembered what I said. You know, I tell, I tell you that sometimes in the scoop game, people forget, you know, because there's just so much going on. I, I understand it. But that so many of you saw that headline and not only thought of me, but thought to support me, either by tweeting me directly or tweeting Grace was right. And it was just, it meant the world to me. I just can't underestimate what a, a difference that made to me. And you were all so kind about it too. You know, one of the things that I hate is this narrative that some people try to spread that I have some ax to grind or I'm coming from a bad place. I'm just reporting uh, and being, as I always am, brutally honest. I'm brutally honest with myself. It's just, you know, it's just, it's just my personality. Uh, and that you guys saw that and recognized that and then returned it in kind to me, I, I just can't tell you what a difference that made to me. It was the best Christmas gift that you ever could have given to me. It, I will always remember it for that reason. And I, I tried to heart as many comments as I could. I didn't heart all of them. I couldn't respond to all of them. But I just want you to know, I think I read all of them. And I screenshotted some of them, actually, for the tougher days, you know, because I'm sure there will be some tougher days ahead. And I screenshotted them just to have that to remind me because of why I do what I do. And the, I just I just love interacting with you guys. I mean, it just means everything to me. So thank you for that. All right, so before we get to the questions, let me go through the people who've already commented. And then this is a question stream where you can ask me what you would like to clarify your, your questions, concerns, and sh for you to share your ideas and thoughts on what's happening over at DC. So Evan, welcome back. Philip, welcome back. Richard, thank you for joining. Richard, by the way, said that he's been a member for, he's been following for seven years, but his first member, uh, stream is a member. Welcome, Richard. Welcome to the next level. Uh, Dustin, well, uh, thanks for joining. Uh, Superior, uh, Shang Shangari, thanks for joining. Uh, Ali says, is it possible for us to get Pattinson in the DCU? As I said in my video today, I wouldn't say, I never, you know, I think I wouldn't close the door on that. I think that's not going to happen anytime soon, but I think I, I wouldn't be surprised if Gunn builds out his Superman so that that can happen. Michael says, been watching you since 2010. Love and appreciate your content. Thank you, Michael. I was curious if you have any specific, I love when you guys have yourself as your picture because then I can see you. I was curious, curious if you have any specific stories you'd like to see told in this new gun verse. Um, I like the, I like your little ban, I like the banners. Why do you all have fireworks as your banners? Is that something new they added for the holidays and the winter? It's lovely. Uh, but anyway, I think that going back to basics is a really great idea. I'd love to see going back to basics with Superman stories. You know, some of the, I mean, that's what I'd be more interested in, those classic stories. That's what I'd like to see instead of trying to keep up with the current comics that, to be honest with you, aren't even that good. Um, I included the, um, oh, I don't know why that's highlighted. Sorry about that. I included the new 52 Superman cover when they also went back and made Superman younger. Uh, they put him in jeans. They were like, oh, look how plugged in he is. Those comics were horrible. Um, and so I think going back to basics uh, would be a, a, a good idea. Uh, hey, 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 Black Shy Guy. Uh, let's see here. Purunga, Purunga Daddy, hello. Uh, uh, Purunga Daddy, welcome back, Diamond member. Blair Wraith, welcome back as well. Let's see here. Jay Desert says... Uh, Grace, is James Gunn, uh, or dessert, uh, Grace, is James Gunn emotionally mature enough to run a studio? I don't think he is and suspect it will unravel within 12 months. Interesting to hear your thoughts. I think that we all have some concerns about that and also a taste level, but at the same time, you know, never say, no, you know, I think like there's always an opportunity or a chance that he could meet to the, he could rise to the challenge, rise to meet the challenge. And I think that 
the first test was whether or not he would do this reboot uh, with the Snyderverse. But then, you know, I think the second part of this test is whether or not he reboots his own part of that universe, uh, which is just as important, I think, as the first one, uh, the first test. So we'll, we'll see what he decides to do. But I think so far, uh, besides not some of the tweets that I'm loving, but so far, I think he's doing a nice job. Uh, I still think it was a huge mistake to, to call out um, <laughs> Variety. Uh, hold on, I, it skipped ahead, so I want to make sure that I say I, at least comments that just came through. Okay, Danny Gomez, welcome back, Diamond member. Edwin, welcome back. Let's see here. Uh, oh, thanks, Luis. Uh, Bat Coaster 95, welcome back. All, uh, all to the sting, welcome, uh, thanks for joining. Uh, Brad, that is extremely generous of you, and I greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much, Brad, for that gift. Uh, it will be okay, says I checked your Twitter account when the news broke. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, I did tweet about it, but, you know, I wanted to save a lot of my thoughts and think about it, and because, you know, some people were like, don't gloat, Grace, and then other people were like, she's justified to gloat, and... I, I didn't want to be, uh, you know, I didn't want the video to be about I'm right. I wanted the video to be about why I was right, revisit that, point out some things that maybe you'd be more willing to hear now that you know I'm right, uh, and to so talk about where we're going. Because, you know, I want DC to succeed. I want it to be, you know, not only do I love DC stories, but also as someone who covers the space and a fan who enjoys movies, it benefits all of us to have competing companies uh, DC and Marvel pushing each other forward to create better product. Uh, thank you, Michael Brandy. Thank you for the flowers. That's very sweet of you. Um, uh, David says, you talked about business and that's the tea. Thank you. Gavin, thank you. says, I'm a, stu a new student at University of Pittsburgh and I'm wondering what are some fun things to do here since I know you visit here often. Ah, thanks, Gavin. And yes, Pittsburgh is a lovely, lovely place. Uh, it's a great sports town, so I would recommend that you go to a sports game in Pittsburgh. Uh, the Pittsburgh, um, the Steelers, obviously, uh, the Pirates, the Penguins. These are beautiful stadiums and really fun community events. So I would try to go to a game. Uh, and then also, uh, I think that um, uh, a couple of Pittsburgh areas to visit are really nice. They have a lot of good bowling alleys there. Uh, I also really like the Pittsburgh Conservatory. Um, they have some very nice movie theaters. I, I forget which one I went to. Um, I talked about it. I forgot which one it was. Oh, no, but it was a really cool one. Uh, so just, you know, just take a look around. And Pittsburgh's just a really great city. Trisha says, oh, we love you, Grace. We're always here for you. Ah, oh, thank you, Trisha. Buzz, thank you. Thank you. Happy holidays to you as well, Buzz. Thank you, Mark Siobhan from Dublin. Thank you. Uh, Superior Shigari, you retracted your message, but thank you for that um, very nice uh, gift. Uh, Seb says, I feel bad for Henry Cavill, but he sure was great, a great Superman in the DCEU. He will be remembered. Oh, look at that little Superman emoji you have there. Where did you get that? Where did you get that goodie? Uh, yes, I think that he will always be remembered, and I think that he's taking some of his fans with him, and I'm very curious to see if he can do anything with that. I hope that he can. I told you, in the right role, like Paul Newman, Henry Cavill is worth, he, he's worth a ton of money, but I'm done with him as Superman. Zara says, thoughts on Cavill as Wolverine? Um, I think that he has just too much baggage. I would like to see him do something that's not comic book related, to be honest with you. That's why The Witcher was so great for him, and he threw it away. Joshua says, just as long as you are not getting the origin, we are not getting the origin story. You are the best, Grace. Thank you, Joshua. Yes, James Gunn is confirmed. They're not doing another Superman origin story. And thank goodness, I don't need to see that baby rocket from uh, Krypton anymore. We've already seen that a billion times. Daniel Barrio says, is it possible that Henry returns as Geralt, uh, uh, Geralt now, that, uh, now, or is that out of the realm of possibility? Well, I think he's so crucial to the success of The Witcher that... I think there's a chance, but I think that it's unlikely because they already signed the Liam Hemsworth deal. Liam Hemsworth's representation would be furious to have him embarrassed like that. Um, and I think Netflix is upset that they threw him under the bus. They threw, they, he threw them under the bus like that in such a successful franchise for them. I think that 
that's that's a that's a hurt that's not going to go away. One of my favorite lines from the Santa Claus is, "I have a lawyer with a lot of vowels in my name, and he's gonna he's gonna call you and make me fe- make you feel the pain that I feel." That's a great line, and I feel that that because it's funny because it's true, and I think that I don't though I don't know if Netflix would want to save him. Quite frankly, uh, Marco says, "Grace, you are by far the entertainment reporter most dedicated to the truth on YouTube, and your business sites are unparalleled." Thank you, Marco. That's so kind of you, and that's a great photo of you. Jonathan, thank you. That's so kind of you. It says, hi, Grace. I've watched you almost every single uh, uh, video of, of, of you of yours. Is that what you mean? And then you said, what about Alexandra Daddario for Wonder Woman? Ah, uh, maybe. I think that I wouldn't be surprised. I think, I don't, you know, maybe. That, that is kind of James Gunn casting, to be honest with you. And, you, with you. and she's right in the sweet spot. Uh, I would think maybe the actress who played Lucia, you know, the main prostitute might be a better choice. I think James Gunn might want to go with somebody who comes across Maybe a little bit more, um, a little bit more, you know, that they would come from the Amazon, you know, that Greek heritage. You know, I know obviously that's Italy, but, you know, same basic region. So I can see him maybe wanting to do that. Uh, Mark Anthony, welcome. Thank you for joining. Uh, Danny Gomez is longtime listener and return caller. I love it, Danny. Big fan here, and I've seen a lot of positive feedback today on Twitter supporting you. Sending you love from Queens. Oh, you're right near me, Danny. Love to you as well. Ah, uh, yes, that's so kind. That's so nice. It's so great. I'm, you know, see, that's why you, that's why you can't give up. You know, I've had some bad days on Twitter. Just keep going. Um, David Kyle says, um, where was that? I'm a little bit behind on the comments, but I'm getting to them. Just so you know, if you're putting in new ones. Oh, there are a lot of them. This is so great. I'm so glad you guys are so interested in having this discussion. That makes me feel very nice. But hold on, I got. I wish that there was a better way to navigate this from YouTube. David Kyle says, Taylor Swift said in The Man, they'd say I hustled, put in the work, they wouldn't shake their heads and question how much that I deserve. You know, David Kyle, that's interesting that you quote that because I just watched that music video the other day and I was like, so true, so true, Taylor. And I think that Taylor Swift is correct in that. And I also recently watched Little Women again, the 2019 version as a Christmas movie. Good Christmas movie. I've added it to the rotation. And um, there's a lot of really great comments there about women, too. And I, so I really I appreciate that, David. Uh, Edwin says, who will play Superman? Will it be young Superman? Well, I think it's going to be someone around the age, conspicuously, of Robert Pattinson. So I think that's what they're going to go for. Someone who you would be like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll put him next to Robert Pattinson and be like, interesting. Evan Moore says, uh, phew, just finished your video about this. Quite exciting times. I'm being optimistic about the Gunverse. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be as successful as Marvel. Yeah, I really hope so. It can even have a few little hiccups, and it would still be better than what we have now. So I, I, I think so. I think, you know, I would, like to, I would like to see it succeed. Wilson Hornsby says, can Pattinson decide without Reeves' approval to do a crossover film later? Yes, he can, Wilson. That's what's very interesting. A number of you are like, I don't know, Robert Pattinson would want to do this without Matt Reeves. And I agree that it would be a tall order to get him to agree to that because Robert Pattinson is so creator and director focused, so centric. But we also know Robert Pattinson is a huge Batman fan. And if the, I think the trick is if the rest of this doesn't look like crap. I think that maybe is why Matt Reeves doesn't want to be a part of it right now. He's like, get that away from me. But if it starts to look really good, and they can slowly but surely build stuff that's as good as the Batman, then I think that Robert Pattinson would be like, I would love to interact with this other actor as Superman. So I don't think Matt Reeves would continue to be that unreasonable either. Uh, Rob, hey, Rob Locke, welcome. Hey, Quinn, thanks for joining. TJ says, hi, Grace, been a fan of the channel since moving to New York City after college. Anything you hope Henry Cavill focuses on to help fix his career? I would hope that Henry Cavill would like finally like kind of learn from his mistakes because he keeps making the same mistake, right? I would hope that Henry Cavill, and I would hope that Henry Cavill like kind of embraces his image. I I, lo- I, I just, I would think he would be a great Bond, but I don't really see that happening necessarily. But I just hope he gets something good and I hope that he really focuses on it and I hope he stops making the same mistake again and again and again. Because I think he's probably just as frustrated as you are. And I wish that he, I hope he gets somebody in his corner, in his camp, that can explain these things to him, that he trusts, so that he doesn't get blindsided again and again and again. Bobby K says, "I just wanted to say that we appreciate you going through so much garbage online from some from some to uh, from some to provide for the rest of us." Oh, that's so kind of you, Bobby. Thank you, thank you so much, Patrick. I'm glad you're enjoying the live today. 
Uh, Black Shy Guy says, Grace, it was a wise decision for them to get rid of Batman Beyond, considering it will bring another Batman, which will bring more problems. Also, you know, I think they were going to that too quickly. And also, I think, you know, I told you I heard they were going to do a Batgirl Beyond type scenario. I, I just think that, you know, I guess they were trying to have a shortcut by cheating with going with Michael Keaton. And I can see that. But... That's if you're doing like multiverse stories and that stays in its own multiverse. But bringing Michael Keaton over into the main space, I just think that was all really bizarre. And I think it was just too confusing. And I think you have to earn Batman Beyond. Batman Beyond worked because we watched so many years of the Batman animated series. Thank you, Quinn. 80s models. Oh, it's always so nice to see you, 80s model. I'm always so interested in why you chose your moniker. Uh, Grace just wanted to wish you happy holidays. The BTC community is the best, and we are always sending you support. 80s model is one of the top people who gifts memberships all the time. So that's really kind of you, 80s model. Charles says, we need to give him a chance. There is no way the mob will let him go away with getting rid of the Snyderverse without causing so much noise. He has to wipe it clean because who wants a retcon? Um... I'm not quite sure what you're saying, Charles. I'm, I, 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 it's, the wording seems a little co convoluted to me. Do you mean give James Gunn a chance? Yeah, I think we do need to give James Gunn a chance. I'm curious to see who he casts as Superman, and I'm curious what this opening round is going to look like. Hey, Dustbin, welcome back. Claire says, hi, Grace. Is it official that there will be a hard reboot for DC? I hope the best for DC because of its current state. Um, I think we have to find out if he's rebooting Suicide Squad and Peacemaker. If he's rebooting those, it'll be a hard reboot. If he's not, it'll haunt him forever, as I said earlier today. But if he's not, I think that it will be then a soft reboot. And I think that, that would be a mistake. Uh, Britt says, Margo is Emma Frost now? Uh, LOL. P.S. Barbie teaser is coming soon. Leaked on Twitter. I know, Britt. Well, did the actual teaser leak? I tweeted earlier today. I was one of the people who broke that story. That's the, I told you. That's why it meant so much to me that so many of you remembered the stuff about Henry Cavill because sometimes people don't know where the story originates from. And again, there's a lot of noise out there, so I get it. No problem. And Britt, I'm excited to see this Barbie teaser. But uh, that's very funny. I'm excited. I'm, I'm wondering when it's going to drop online. Uh, it could drop any day from Warner Brothers. Uh, Oppenheimer is definitely an, uh, a theater's only exclusive through the weekend. Uh, so it'll probably drop next week, maybe. But the Barbie trailer, that I'm very curious about. That could drop any day. I'll, please don't be a weekend. Please, or at least just don't be Saturday. I'll watch says, uh, don't you get teary-eyed on me, Grace. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, Logan Davis, welcome back. Hey, Mr. Real Shane, thank you for joining. Kaylee says, will you do a top 10 Superman film and TV actors? Um, no, maybe when the new one comes. But I think that we've missed the window for people being interested in that. You know, you got to, with uh, YouTube videos, you got to capture the window, the window of interest. And I think that we're, we're at the tail end of that. So when we start ramping up, like when, that, that's the kind of video I would make when the new Superman movie came out from James Gunn. So I will, we'll definitely be keeping that in mind. Oh, the comparisons will be made. And the new, so that's why James Gunn better nail the casting. Welm says, to this day, my favorite Superman from All-Star Moment is when he talked a girl out of ending her life. That's so interesting, considering how things went down with Homelander, right? But we really need that moment on screen. All-Star All Superman was actually pretty darn good. It was a little bit out there, because of course it's Grant Morrison, but it was good. Hey, Portis2, welcome back. Lost in Limbo says, I always go straight to you when I hear anything entertainment related, as I trust you. Love from Ireland. Oh, thank you. That trust means a lot, and I, would, I always take it very seriously. Max Zamora says, love you, Grace. Always proud to be your fan, but today we smile in a special way. Ah, yes, hard indeed. I'll do like a Vin Diesel heart. Vin Diesel always does these, which I think is so cute that Vin Diesel would do that. Dancing Dog 60 says, Grace, like Steve Rogers, you said you got to move on. We got to move on. I'm so glad that DC is moving on. Let's hope the bros do too. Well, yeah, let's see who they cast and, you know, if they like the way the movie looks. Some people will not move on because they make money off of not moving on. And so that's the real hurdle. That's the really big hurdle. But there are certain things recently that we've gotten over in the political landscape that you thought would never go away. So I feel like maybe it could be done. Hey, hey, Khal uh, Khalid. Gavin says, thank you so much. Much love from your fans. Ah, uh, thank you, Gavin. That's very kind of you. Oh, Ian also recommended, I'm a little bit behind here, so I'm sorry about this, but uh, Ian said Pittsburgh History and Art Museum is very nice. That's true. Uh, Andy Warhol is from Pittsburgh. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Roblox says, time for Marvel to scoop him up for Hyperion. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, Ivan says, uh, Gavin, I recommend PPG Ice Rink and Market Square. Those are also excellent recommendations from Evan. 
Uh, I know that place very well. Let's see here. Mark Anthony says, been saying Warner Brothers should adapt Superman Birthright as the first Superman film in a franchise for 20 years. Also, they should avoid projects that deconstruct soups. No Frank Millerizing Superman. Yeah, I think people want Superman to be, uh, you know, the bright, shining hope that, you know, that he's supposed to be. Uh, let's see. As I said in my video today, it's a very difficult character to get right. And I would never in a billion years have picked James Gunn to do it. But he picked himself, so I'm excited to be surprised. Uh, ben Sfarag says, Hey Grace, wrote you a message on Twitter about the Cavill situation from a Witcher fan's perspective. Would have been too long for a tweet or a comment. Did you DM me, Benz? I'll have to try and see that. Hey, Max. Max says, hey, Grace, where, where should they go with Wonder Woman? Gal Gadot looked ripped from the comics. I personally think it will be hard to do better. I do, too. I think that'll be the hardest recasting. She was, she, she, her acting fell apart in Wonder Woman 1984, but she really was Wonder Woman. So that's why I think that he's going to try and go with something different. He's going to have to do a different take on Wonder Woman to make that really work and not for people to be like, not Gal Gadot. Jojo Bell says, I'd like to see an on-screen Batman that could somehow embody Kevin Conroy's portrayal of the character. That's true. That would be nice. Although I'm still supporting Robert Pattinson's Batman right now because I like that, that version of the character so much. But yes, Kevin Conroy is, of course, iconic. Rest in peace. The Mysterious One says, Grace, I've been watching you for over a decade. Ah, oh, thank you. Yay. I especially love movie math. I start every Monday with your breakdowns. A great job with keeping it real. Much love from Serbia. It's so nice to see you. I love seeing you guys all over the globe. It's so great. Sir Joel says, Henry is no longer Geralt and no longer Superman. He was making 500K to 1 million per episode on The Witcher. To Henry fumble the bag. I think you kind of answered your own question. I hope he saved his money. Uh, he certainly won't get paid. A, I mean, I don't know. I guess it depends on how desperate the project he joins is for him to, to sign on. But I would think he's going to have to take a little bit of a pay cut. But it is, yeah, it's bad. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Stephen M. Rosado says, Grace, I'm concerned about gun keeping the Suicide Squad and Peacemaker crew. What are the odds of a full reboot? I'm nervous for his decision, and I want clear answers. Me too. I think he's going to have to be very clear with it when whatever this thing is. However they, however they share their plan after the new year, and I'm hoping it's a presentation like Kevin Feige does, he's going to have to specify on that. Brett Crandall says, as a Kansan, Hope the new actor has a Midwestern Jimmy Stewart quality and journalism is integral to these new movies. I agree. Especially also today with the way journalism is, in, is going. Any comic recommendations that use him as a reporter to check out? Happy holidays from Smallville. Ah, that's so great, Brett. My favorite Superman comic is Superman for All Seasons. Uh, I don't know how reportery that is, but I would definitely check that out. I think it's excellent. Let's see. Okay, I think I'm all caught. Am I all caught up? I don't think so. No, 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 no. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to do these in order. You guys really are popping today on the internets. All right, uh, Ahmed says, I'm actually convinced God himself is, the M is an MCU fan, considering how much drama Warner Brothers in DC has. I know Kevin Feige is sitting back enjoying this DC mess. Well, I think it also just shows that, speaking of someone who builds a universe, that Kevin Feige is really a master of his domain and has incredible self-control. I mean, he, he's even having some problems recently, but I think that that just again goes to show that it's not just an understanding of the material, but a very good business mind, which is crucial. Uh, I'm still wondering what the heck Peter Safran is doing. Hey, Wizzelante, thanks for joining. Uh, Jander says, uh, you're the best, Grace, thank you. Mario says, do you think pending DCEU movies should go directly to streaming or remain on the theater release path? I mean, there's no point to them anymore. Mario, I think that they should go to streaming or get a tax credit. We'll see what happens. Um, I think maybe they'll release one, it'll totally crash and burn, and then maybe they'll pull the rest. But let's see what happens. Let's do a poll. Uh, it's poll time! Okay, start a poll. Will you see the remaining DCEU movies in theaters? Okay, yes. All of them, no. all of them. None of them. Some of them, and then 
I'd rather I'll wait to I'll wait to stream. Like you will watch them, but it's like not on a theater screen. All right, so anybody who's a member can vote. If you're looking to vote, the way you vote is you go to the top and you click on that box and then you pick your option there. All right, let me go back to where I was. Lost my place. Why, why YouTube? Why isn't there a better way to do this? All right. Oh, here we go. Okay. Heather S. S. Hey, Heather. I read the Witcher books and I'm not happy with the direction of the show. Netflix needed a bit of a wake up call on this. You know, Heather, I think that's a good point. And that's one of the problems of shooting things so far in advance that you're too far along to change things. If audiences suddenly say, we don't like what you're doing, but I think that it's a shame they had, to, I don't know if, I don't know if Liam Hemsworth is really the way to go, but yeah, I think it's true. They did need a wake up call. Hey, Derek, thanks for joining. Tovey says, I was a big fan of the DC Trinity, Gal, Henry, and Ben. Is the mainstream audience even ready for a rebooted universe? Tovey, I think they would be if they got a break, which is another reason that I think it's ridiculous to take so long to wrap up the DCEU if we are indeed rebooting. So I think that that's a real problem. Uh, let's see here. Zager, uh, Zager uh, Zord, welcome. Zager Zord. Uh, Jonathan says, I dreamed to see Lady Gaga as Poison Ivy. Well, she's already Harley Quinn, though, so I don't think that's actually ever going to happen. Uh, she would have been a good one, though. Uh, Wizzolante says, Sasha Kaye, in my opinion, opinion, can be a great Wonder Woman. But now she has to go and be pointless Supergirl, which is actually kind of cruel. But we'll see. Maybe she'll be so good that she'll get something else. Dev Deneo says, Grace, schoolwork has been so tough on me this semester. I've been stressed and miserable. Your coverage kept me from self-destructing. Oh, I'm so sorry you're going through a rough patch, Dev. I think, you know, it can be really hard, but I'm glad, I'm glad that you're being really smart about it and finding ways to, like, relieve tension. And I'm glad that I can be one of those uh, ways. You know, I think that's really important. And I do that, too. I just think it's, it's, it's really great, and I'm so happy that I can, uh, I can be that for you because I know how much it means to me to have my own escapes. Uh, like for me, comic books are a big escape, reading comic books. J. King says, I can't tell you how much uh, <clears throat> more excited your review for Avatar got me. Seeing it at AMC Lincoln Square this weekend. That's the place to go. That's where I saw it. Have a great time. My spoiler review, which was going to be ready earlier today, but then this news broke last night. I've already filmed it. My spoiler review will go up by the end of this evening. I still have to edit it. It's very long. Let's see here because it's such a long movie. Uh, let's see here. Kayla says, let's start a petition for Grace. Uh, that's very kind of you, Kayla. Uh, Jen McMahon says, hi, Grace. Do you think James Gunn will lean more towards Nubia than D Diana as our Wonder Woman, but not to, to erase Diana? Is that what you mean? Um, I think Nubia is an option, but I think he's going to go. I do think he's going to go back to basics because that's what he's doing with Superman. Um, I think at some point they could expand the Wonder Woman universe, but I don't see that happening until they reestablish Wonder Woman. I mean, they have a lot of damage to fix from Wonder Woman 1984. I didn't decide how long this stream was going to go. Um, I'll go uh, for like another 15 minutes. Uh, no, I'll do the hour. I'll go till 5.30. Um, Brett says, hi, Grace. is one of your OG fans. Yay. Uh, you have always been the one I'd turn to for business industry rumors, confirmation, and business talk. Uh, that means a lot, Brett. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, thanks, Will. Will Tompa. Uh, Sky, um, Sky the Magnanimous, uh, who is very magnanimous, says if James Gunn is writing a new Soups film, who should star and direct? Um, Jake Gyllenhaal, Dar Darka Montgomery, George McKay, Penn Badgley, I don't know. I think he's going to get somebody new. A lot of people are saying David Cornersweet from Hollywood, uh, Ryan Murphy's Hollywood. I could see him, but he might already, he might be already a little bit too old for the role. I cast Superman and Wonder Woman back when the Batman came out. So you can go check out that video. Um, let's see who they pick. Uh, again, I told, I'm telling you, I bet they're a match with Robert Pattinson. Dev Deneo says, I've always believed you, Grace, especially about Cavill's attitude. I'm one of the few fans that have seen a glimpse of his, a glimpse of his dark side ego. I'm torn since he needed to be humbled, but I wish him the best. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I appreciate you backing me up, Dev. Uh, I, don't, I, I mean, obviously, I can't vouch for how you know him uh, or how you know what you know. But, uh, you know, again, you're not the first person I've, you know, heard say this and people I know who, who actually have had those interactions. Um, I feel like, um, you know, I hope he gets what he wants out of life. 
Uh, and I think that he is a very talented actor in the right role. And so I hope that he finds that. I thought he was great as Geralt. Um, All to the Sting says, do you think Henry Cavill may or is still part of the Enola Holmes franchise? Um, they really clearly set up that he is, but I think that Enola's numbers have only been medium, and I think probably Netflix hates him right now. So even if they do make that, I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. Uh, Talon has a good question. What about the Black Superman project that they were supposed to be doing through J.J. Abrams? I forgot to include that in the video today. I had meant to talk about that. I'd heard, you know, they say they're still doing that in the trades. The trades said that's still on. But then, of course, there's been talks that Warner Brothers is deeply unhappy with J.J. Abrams because he hasn't delivered a single thing since they gave him a $500 million deal. So I think J.J. Abrams is going to leave, and I bet you they don't make that project. I think there are other great characters of color, like where, Mr. Terrific. James Gunn tweeted a picture of Mr. Terrific. I would love to see Mr. Terrific, especially after he was so coolly depicted in the um, Adam Strange I think it's Adam Strange, but the Tom King miniseries? I mean, that, wow, that was a pitch for ter uh, Mr. Terrific if I ever saw one. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think all of us would maybe rather see characters like that. Uh, Danny Boy says, what do you think about Gunn now being both a DC executive and creative? Uh, if he can manage to divide the two, um, it'll be great. It's hard to do, but, you know, I think it would be fine with it if he shows that he can handle it. Happy holidays to you too, Danny. Let's see here. Nicholas. Hey, Nicholas. Uh, Michael Doyle says, I really miss Think About the Ink, so this stream makes me smile. Ah, uh, it's my pleasure. Ah, uh, yeah, I love comics. I told you I'm going to try and talk about comics a little bit more when the, we have a slow news day, but December turned out to be pretty hot. Maybe we'll talk comics like in between Christmas and New Year's, which should be very quiet, unless they decide to announce the DC slate then. I ready says, congratulations on your work and thank you for all the great stories. I really enjoy your objective point of view because it's important to be aware and realistic about the industry. I'm glad you feel that way, I ready. That makes, that really means a lot to me because that's what I try to do. Uh, Christopher Kelly, hey, Christopher Kelly. Everyone's saying, the, so Nacho says the Barbie trailer fully leaked online. So maybe they will release it tomorrow. That would be great. That would make me very happy. Uh, Writer Boy says, you are such a motivation to your BTT fans. You take us away from a lot of personal drama and it helps more than you know. Keep doing what you're doing because you make a lot of, uh, uh, a lot, a lot of homes happy. What a kind thing to say, Writer Boy. That, that would mean so much to me, and I hope that, that is true. I do get uh, comments from you guys occasionally, like tweets or DMs, and I try to answer uh, a lot of them. Um, and I, that, that is the, the most meaningful comments that I get. Michael Brandy says, how bad does uh, The Rock and Danny Garcia look right now? They look real bad, Michael. They couldn't look worse. But let's see. I suspect The Rock might be getting ready to pick up a shovel and dig. Let's see. I'm very nervous about what they're, because he, he hasn't said anything. So he's going to say something eventually. And I'm nervous as to what that will be. I would love it if he never addressed it. That would just be wonderful. I would love it if The Rock was just like, we're done and walked away. I hope that he does. And I, you know, as I said in my stream, I hope he hire, maybe he'll hire Henry Cavill for something. I mean, The Rock certainly has no shortage of projects that he's doing. I'd love to see that. The Rock and Henry Cavill in a movie? Uh, everybody would show up for that. Or would they be upset? Who, I mean, we would think they would. Uh, Logan says, I'm glad I finally caught a live stream. I'm homesick. Oh, I'm sorry, Logan. And just hearing you talk is making me feel better. Ah, feel better, Logan. Feel better. Paul Brady watched the Barbie trailer. Nobody ruined the Barbie trailer. I don't want to know what the movie is. They're spoofing. Uh, my source was like, my, even my source was like, I don't want to ruin this for you. And I was like, thank you. Sean Turner says, hey, Grace, what would you think of Mia Goth as Reeves Harley Quinn? I saw her in the recent Infinity Pool trailer, and I think she'd be perfect. I've got to tell you, I think Mia Goth would be a little bit too scary, which is a credit to Mia Goth. But I would prefer someone like Anya Taylor-Joy or, you know, Emma Roberts, who was originally David Ayer's choice. That's what I would prefer. All right, so let's take a moment here on the poll. I'll end the poll. I'll come back to, sh uh, to these comments. Don't worry if I missed your comment. I'm coming back. So the poll says that you guys want to see some of the DCEU movies, which is interesting to me. So in the next poll will be, um, and then the next group is 26% of you will just wait to stream all of them. But only 19% of you want to watch all of them in theaters. All right, so I'm going to put a new poll in as to which ones you want to watch in theaters. Which will you watch in theaters? Hold on. And I'm sorry, but Blue Beetle and Shazam are going to have to share a spot. So we've got 
Aquaman 2, The Flash, Shazam, Blue Be Shazam 2, and Blue Beetle. Or the fourth option, I need more options, YouTube, will be none of them. Just to reiterate and to see what we're dealing with here. Okay, so there's the next poll. All right, let me go back. Let me go back to where I was. Hold on. Uh, YouTube, why is this not better to navigate? Going back, going back, going back. Uh, da, 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 da. Going back. Uh, wow, so many questions to answer. I really appreciate all of your questions. It means a lot. Um, I can't even go higher. Come on. Come on, YouTube. Okay, I can't go back further. The last I could go back was to Zay, I believe, who says, didn't doubt you for a second, even when my friend said Cavill was back. So disappointing that Wonder Woman never got a trilogy. Yes, that is sad. That is very sad. And, but that's not anybody's fault, but Patty Jenkins. Uh, Generation Marvel says, hey, Grace, which story will Gunn adapt first from the comics and why? I bet he doesn't adapt a comic. I bet he tells mostly an original story. I think James Gunn has the confidence to do that. And, you know, I don't really, can't really think of a Superman story that he could, that he could tell that I would think that everybody would be like, oh, finally, this is going to be adapted. That's also another problem with Superman. I mean, except for some of them, like the gift for the man who has everything and stuff like that. There aren't a lot of really, really famous Superman stories. There are famous Superman characters and like animated series episodes, but it's a weird, it's a weird space. Tammy says, Grace never doubted your awesomeness because of you. I was the only one in my group to be right about Cavill. Ah, that's right. That's awesome, Tammy. Good for you. Let's see here. Ryan K., thank you. Hey, Stephen P., welcome for joining. Thank you for joining. Jesse the Goodwitch says, Honestly, I support the full reboot, but I uh, would have done Crisis on Infinite Earths to tie up all loose ends and give the previous stuff a good send-off. I think, uh, Jesse, I understand where you're coming from, but this just is going to go on forever. Because everyone's going to be like, Oh, and one more thing. Oh, can we do this too? Oh, and one more. Uh, and then Devin says, Grace bending Lois Lane, Lex Luthor, and introducing LGBT Superman character Maggie Sawyer might be a great way to modernize Superman stories. I agree. I think they're going to definitely, I, my money would be on Lex Luthor. Um, and I think an LGBT Superman character, maybe something with Jimmy Olsen, maybe would be a good idea. Let's see what they decide to do. Uh, I think James Gunn will, I think, you know, let's see. Let's see if he does it right. Uh, Phillips says, how did the DCEU go over uh, a decade without having a solo Batman movie? in universe oh well it, it's just so much drama it is pretty crazy though Welm says sent you a question via twitter dm since youtube is not letting me send it here for some reason oh well look at you cheat i'll get to it after the stream because I, I don't want to encourage people to do that uh sky the magnanimous says isaac gonzalez regina king anna de armas and angelina jolie is the new wonder woman d reese shaka king or chad sahelski directing and alan heinberg writing uh, let's see. I'm curious if Gunn like reaches out to talent that he admires or to people he's friends with. That's a really big question as well. That's something also that we have to wonder. If he only hires other people like himself, then what the heck are we going to do here? Brett says, in your honest opinion, what is Gunn going to do without, with the 2023 lineup? HBO Max tax write-off or leave them be? Well, let's see, Brett. I would put them on HBO Max, to be honest with you. But let's see. Oh, someone gifted some memberships. I didn't see who did that, but someone gifted memberships and I can see some people got them, which is so nice. Lovely Six says, hi Grace, your opinion on the newer Superboy John Kent comics, Superman, son of Kal-El? I like being able to relate to him. I like John Kent and I've said before that he's very much a mix of Clark and Lois. And I like the character. I think the comic is only, I think the comic is hit or miss, quite frankly, both in terms of writing and artwork. It's not nearly as good as the Nightwing comic, which is from the same writer actually. Uh, but I like the character a lot, and it's one of the few times I've seen, along with Damian Wayne, a character who's really successful and popular have a child character and not feel like it was a bummer. So that's great. David Kyle says, saying on behalf of all of us BTT members, I'll never forget how so many of my bad days were saved by that YouTube notification. Oh, really, David? Oh, that means so much. That really is a sweet thing to say. All right, I'm almost caught up, I think. Oh, excellent. 
Devin says, also, I wanted to thank you. These new weeks, these few weeks have been tough as my grandpa was in hospice then passed away. Oh, Devin. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Your videos, live streams in this community brings me some comfort during this hard time. Oh, Devin, I'm so sorry to hear about your grandfather, but that's just wonderful that you made sure you were there for him in his final days. He's very lucky to have a grandson like you. Uh, all right, let's see here. Uh, Imran says, couldn't Blue Beetle be worked into the new Gunverse? That's an interesting question. Um, I think, let's see how successful it is and if people like it. Uh, but I really do feel that it's, again, it's just going to feel like a holdover. I feel there really needs to be a line in the sand where Gunn is like, this is my stuff. And that, and unfortunately, Blue Beetle is on the wrong side of that. Edwin says, opportunity to build a new Superman franchise in an open world Superman game with a storyline that interconnects in the new DCU. That would be great. That's the goal, to have that kind of a synergy. Uh, thanks for joining, Mike. Hey, Ham uh, Hamish. Uh, thank you, Evan. That's very kind of you. Gigi. Hey, Gigi. A problem with the next movies is that if they're amazing, this will be terrible for the new CCEU because people will indefinitely rally for the old team. That's a great point, Gigi. We don't need anyone pointing to these movies and saying they were great. If only we could get a sequel. I don't need that. Mickey Powell says, I will go see Shazam 2 in theaters just to see Gal Gadot in the role on the big screen one more time. Ah, oh, she's also in Flash, too, so you're going to have to see both those movies. Uh, isn't it, I feel bad, I was thinking of that, um, the Gal Gadot probably when she put on the suit for the last time, she didn't know it was for the last time, and that's actually kind of sad. Uh, Vinicius says, Joker 2, what should Gunn do? Uh, I think leave it alone, the other one won a, won, made a billion dollars and won Oscars, I think, you know, again, I think he's gonna stay away from Batman, because it's already covered with two movies, two franchises. So I think he's going to focus on other things, which I think is really a good idea. Let's see. Here. Nikon says, imagine Gun James Gunn watching this video. <laughs> That's a very nice thing to imagine. That's very kind. Swamp Thing says, Grace, you are amazing. Thanks for all that you do. Can we do a new poll? Oh, Grace is always right. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Wizzolante says Cavill is dark side. He's never coming back. It's so sad. Zager Thorts says, just wanted to say, well, we don't always agree. Review wise, I love your scoops, movie math, and your assessments on the movie business. Thank you. We don't have to agree. There's no need to agree. That's not necessary. Welm says, do you think David Cornsweat would be a, that's a crazy name too, would be a good choice for Superman? He's our, Cornsweat. He's an unknown, young, looks and sounds like Superman. I do think that he's probably in the running. You better believe his agent is already like, hey, James Gunn, how you doing? You want a gift basket? I don't know if he's going to get it. I don't even know if I want him to get it, but I'm sure he is campaigning for it. LJ916 says, hey, Grace, I've been here since the days when certain other reporters would say your scoops were inaccurate. Thank you. But I knew since then you always cared about truth and accuracy. Ah, thank you, LJ. Thanks for believing in me and sticking with me. Alwatch says, Gunn should have made DC fandom an online event while also making it a partial in-person event at a Comic-Con panel. Maybe drop, I think, yeah, I'm excited for DC to be back at Comic-Con and to have like a really cool presentation. I mean, I love Marvel's presentations and I look forward to many more of them, but it would be great to get some other studios in here. And I think Gunn's gonna do it. And I think it's gonna, I think that's gonna be wonderful. I don't know if they need a DC fandom. There's no reason for them to make all the work of having to put together an event like that when he can just go to Comic-Con and is already has a long history of going to Comic-Con. Once Marvel said they were back in at Comic-Con, Comic-Con was saved. I Ready says, I would like a Jon Stewart and Vixen movie. That would be great. Although a lot of people like Jon Stewart with Hawkgirl. Hey, Riley Light. Uh, we, oh, I, that's only where the poll was? Boy, am I behind on the chat. Paul says, do you think Warner Brothers would ever release a statement about what's going on or would they leave it to talent to make statements like last night? I don't think they even like talent making statements about this. You're not supposed to talk about this stuff. Uh, Warner Brothers will never discuss this because they could be sued. This is, you know, like legal jeopardy. You can't discuss this stuff. I think James Gunn is flirting with disaster by being so open. Hey, Zathaniel. Sam Shugart says, is Pattinson our new bat? Where did that go? I thought I was catching up. Let's see here. Tammy gifted one membership. That's funny, Tammy. That's very nice of you. Uh, it's like a golden ticket. Pretty soon I'll be able to gift memberships. YouTube is working on that. And so I'll try to do that now and then, you know. Um, 
So many of you are so generous in these streams. I want to be able to pay it back forward to you guys. Um, let's see here. Sam, here it is. Sam Sugar says, is Pattinson our new Batman? There's no reason he shouldn't be now, right? I think he might not be the new Batman in like officially, but I think he's probably going to be the only Batman who has movies coming out. Uh, after The Flash has a bunch of Batman running around. Denzel O'Neill says, Grace, thank you for everything that you do. Your humor always makes me laugh. What, char what character would you like to see Ben direct? The question is your choice. Uh, that's actually not a, the question, the question character. That's actually not a, good, a bad choice for him. But, you know, I got to tell you, I don't think Ben Affleck's coming back. And I don't blame him. I think Ben Affleck needs to go back to trying to, you know, regain his, his, his being a, a prestige director. And he's not going to do it through a DC movie. So, I, I mean, maybe someday. But I, I just don't see that happening. Uh, Will Eckhoff, welcome back. Michael says, off topic for holidays, candy cane. I don't like candy canes. I always think of that Steve Zahn movie, you know, with the truckers, candy cane. It ruined candy canes for me or made them better. Gabriel says, uh, yes, scrap everything. It's time for something new and fresh. Yes, definitely. Uh, let's see here. Blair Wraith says, after, uh, I don't, I'm not sure who I would cast as Wonder Woman. Blair Wraith says, after Brightburn, I'm kind of nervous about his version. I'm nervous too, but the fact that he referenced Christopher Reeve means he at least kind of knows what he needs to do. David Linares says, do you think Jenna Ortega would make a good Wonder Woman? Um, I like her more for Diana than Lois Lane. That's not bad either. She maybe could be Yara Floor. Yara Floor, I could see her in that role. Um, I like her attitude though. I feel she has the attitude. Lois Lane, I don't like when people make Lois Lane like the sweet, nice person. Lois Lane's got spunk. And Jenna Ortega has spunk, which is why I think I liked that so much. Lewis agrees with me. Lewis Barry. Christopher Welsh says, part of The Little Mermaid leaked as well. Not sure if it's an extended trailer or just a clip of the movie. I don't want to see it. I want to see it when it happens. Uh, thank you, Max. I don't like all these leaks, uh, you know, of actual footage. Marvin says, do fans recognize you in the wild? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes. Uh, Zanthaniel says, uh, I don't go out that much because of COVID still. So uh, I'm not in the wild that much. Zanthaniel says, you are appreciated. Enjoy your candor and commentary. I hope this cavil vindication for you really gets people to understand that you're the real deal. That's a very sweet thing to th say. Thank you. I'll watch said, should DC fandom be brought back? Nope. Comic-Con. I guess Marvel has D23, but, and Warner Brothers could maybe put together their own event, but I mean, they can't even run a studio. You think they really can run a, a, an event? Disney has their own theme parks and their own convention center where they hold D23. I mean, it w I think it would be tough for that. Mr. Poppy says, enjoy some chicken nuggets on me. Oh, thank you. I love chicken nuggets, as many of you know. Thank you, Mr. Poppy. That's a very nice, that's a, that's a very, that's a nice Christmas sto uh, stocking stuffer right there. Thank oh, hey, Derek Bonilla. Thank you for joining, or Derek Bonilla. Callum, Callum Abraham. I love that sticker you chose. That's so cute. Thank you. Uh, L, L, Chum. I, I, I'm not sure what you, uh, but that, what you mean by that, uh, what, uh, what your name says. I got to be careful sometimes with people's names. I don't want to accidentally be made to say something. It says, waiting for re reviews to decide which to wait for. That's true for these movies. I'll do the poll at the very end. Uh, Malagna says, Grace, do you watch RuPaul's Drag Race? Please say Team Sasha Colby for the gays. We love and support you. Ah, uh, Team Sasha Colby. I hope, I hope everybody likes Sasha Colby. Uh, let's see here. Zay says, hey, Grace, do you know what trailers are coming? Uh, Oppenheimer will be dropping shortly. You'll be getting Barbie soon. And then I think we're done. Although I, I, Little Mermaid, you can just feel Little Mermaid is close. So I don't know when they're going to drop it. I haven't heard anything, but, um, I can't imagine they're going to wait until Ant-Man. So I mean, like maybe sometime during the holidays, we might get that. Patrick G, that was a nice thing to say. Marcus says, do you expect or want the D new DCU to be darker, more serious in tone with the MCU? No, or in tone with the MCU. I want it to have different corners like DC Comics does. DC is not a homogenous space in the comic books. So if they could capture that in the, comic, in the movies, that would be really cool. I would like that. You know, a little bit like Marvel's trying to do now. Uh, thank you, John Meisenheimer. Oh, let's see here. I got skipped ahead again. I'm almost at the end. Mike says, with all the mess DC tried to set up the Justice League, wouldn't it be better to put the Justice League on ice for a short time, focus on building up the new Teen Titans, and then go back to the new league? No. I think they should... 
I, um, I think that they should build up uh, the characters individually and then do a Justice League. So I think Justice League is maybe like two or three movies away. Justin Credible says, hey, Grace, new to your channel, Jacob Alordi uh, from Euphoria for Clark Kent. I saw a number of people putting his name forward. He already has a working relationship with Warner. Happy almost Friday. That's true. Euphoria, of course, is on HBO. Didn't he? Wasn't he mean to Zendaya? I don't know. I'd be like, I'd, I'd, if I were an executive, I'd want to know the T on his, how his relationship with Zendaya ended. Writer Boy says, this is random, but who are your most hated comic copycats between Marvel and DC, such as Catwoman and Black Cat? Oh, that's an interesting question, Writer Boy. I don't really, I don't know. I, I don't mind. I guess it only bothers me when it sometimes cancels out a character. Um, but I like all the characters. I don't, I don't know if there's anybody I want to say that I thought, I, I don't think there's anyone, but I do appreciate your question. It was an interesting one. I'll watch this. Can you see Henry and Gull coming back in 10 to 15 years in a multiverse film? Maybe in Crisis on Infinite Earths trilogy. Like, it would have to be like maybe 15 years. When we were, we've gone through a couple of executives and they're like, you know, how can we get people back in the theater? And they're like, I know, Henry Cavill, like, is in his 60s or 70s and he comes back. I mean, then I can see that happening. And Henry Cavill will be there with bells on. John Meisenheimer says, hi, Grace, you are amazing. Thank you. I think, oh, yeah, I already saw that one. Uh, let's see here. Uh, which studio, Marvel or DC, has, LJ says, which studio, Marvel or DC, has the better chance of getting Oscars with their movies, though? Uh, DC, because they have more serious things. Jojo Bell, ah, the Nugget Queen. That's a funny thing to say. Uh, Duncan Knox says, do you think that Gunn will have real trouble grabbing talent given the PR nightmare at the studio and the few Gunn actors have su having success in other films? I think it's a real Wild West situation in DC, you know, even with some of Gunn's comments, you know, him being his candor online, I think would spook some actors. So I think that, I think that he's not going to be able to get A-list talent right off the bat. That's okay. James Gunn just tweeted about five minutes ago about Cavill. Let's see what he said. Let's see if he said Henry Cavill was just the sweetest, most wonderful person ever. Let's see here. Let's see if he really did tweet. Or... No, he did not. He just tweeted something about Rocket Raccoon. Is he crying about Henry Cavill? I don't see anything. He's been answering some questions. So maybe that's what it is, but I don't want to go through his ask me anything. Um, Royal Edinian says, Grace, what do you think of a live action Constantine and Zatanna movie? And who would you cast? I think we're very far from that at this point. Lena says, I could see Jenna Ortega as Raven. That's a pretty good choice, Lena. And she is very short to be Wonder Woman. But I think Raven is so close to Wednesday, she can't do that. She can't, you know? All right, I'm caught up, it looks like. Almost. Oh, great. Oh, thank you, iReady. Uh, let's see here. Oh. Lord Vito says, how do you feel about Josh from the Den of Nerds? Be oh, being called out by Gunn about being Cavill, uh, about Cavill, but pretty much ended up being right. No comment on that. No comment. I don't like to comment on other people in my space. It's just a general rule that I have. But I did see that, and I did allude to it in my coverage, uh, which is, far, is as far as I'm willing to go. Ubersen says, what could happen to Superman and Lois? Do you think Tyler Hoechlin could be the young Superman for the Gunverse? No. He's playing a dad there. He's, no. Uh, much love from Marse Mar Mar Marseille, France. I love France. Oh, I'm so jealous. I love France so much. Uh, you're so, it's so awesome that you live there. Um, I don't think so. I think, I also wouldn't be surprised if they wrap that show up. Uh, Mike, because David Zaslov don't want to pay nobody. Mikey says, hey, Grace, watching Avatar 2 and IMAX tomorrow for my birthday. Just wanted to say it's been fun being a member on your channel this year. Oh, yay. Have a good time at Avatar. You're going to have a great time. You're going to have a really great time. All right, let me try and get some of these uh, non-super chats. Uh, Chris Charter says, do you think this means that Constantine 2 is now gone? I would not be surprised if they got rid of it, although that's the new people just greenlit that, you know, Mike DeLuca and Pam Abdi. But, you know, what's the point of that? Um, my pleasure, Danny. Uh, Keith says, do you feel, uh, how do you feel about, uh, getting a young Superman story? I feel 
how you feel about young X-Men. I don't think he's going to be that young. A lot of you think that he's going to be like a baby, like a teenager. I think he's going to be Robert Pattinson's age. Marcus Lucas said, oh, so this is what James Gunn said about Henry Cavill. I'm anything but cold about it. I sat down in person with Henry yesterday, and we had a very open and honest and respectful discussion. We've communicated since, and he and I are all good. I won't believe it until Henry Cavill says it. <laughs> but yeah, it's the same thing he did with everybody else, with Patty Jenkins and all that stuff. You know, I mean, it doesn't mean anything. Is Barbie trending? That must have really leaked. Uh, oh, thank you, Fernando. Portis 2 says, Variety just confirmed that Henry won't be returning to The Witcher. There you go. Variety's live. Bam. Uh, let's see here. Nacho Flores says, the guy from Hollywood, David Cornsweet, is younger than Robert Pattinson. That improves his chances for sure. Let's see. Um, Eric says, should Gunn just brand the final few movies as Elseworlds and get away from the multi multiverse branding. I don't know what he's going to do. I think they're a real problem, and I'm sure they're probably deciding what to do about them right now. TJ Williams says, assuming that James Gunn has been in talks with DC for some time before all The Rock's public noise, why did Zaslav let The Rock promise so many things knowing that they would eventually have new plans? That's not true. James Gunn was trying to get certain projects for himself, but he was the one who recommended, apparently, Dan Lin for the potential job. It was only when Dan Lin fell through that Peter Safran and James Gunn said, how about us? Um, and, you know, I, so I think when Dwayne Johnson recommended, said, remember, remember the Black Adam premiere? Dwayne Johnson said, oh, I'm, I have ideas for who could run DC. I don't think they picked anybody at that point, or they were in the process of maybe putting together Gunn's contract, but I think it came together very quickly. Galliott says, Austin Butler for Superman. I don't know about that. Harlequin Dove, it's always nice to see you, even if you just got here. Um, I don't know about Austin Butler. Uh, maybe, though, I could maybe see it. He has that Midwestern kind of quality, maybe, that I know some of you would like and that I would like. I don't know if he can get big enough, though. Hey, Raphael. Thanks for joining. Uh, let's see here. Chicken Beach says, is Estrogen popular enough to ever see the big screen? Maybe. I don't think that. I think maybe more likely a show, a streaming show. All right, well, I better get on this Avatar uh, spoiler review if it's going to go up tonight. It's, I, I, it, takes, it takes quite a bit of time. That's, you know, I felt I was... I thought I was going to get up my Henry Cavill video before noon, and that did not happen. Um, it takes quite a long time to uh, edit a very long video, and so I want to get on that so I'm not uh, dropping it too late. Uh, but anyway, it was so fun talking to all of you. Thank you for joining me for this live stream. This is the last live stream for this week, but there will be live streams uh, next week. So there are three a week, and I shoot for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we should have one on Monday. Oh, let me close the poll, Toby. Thank you. End the poll. All right, who won? I'm curious. Let's see who won the poll. None of them won the poll, but then The Flash was second place. I guess because of Michael Keaton. I can see that. And then Aquaman 2. I guess I should have said all of them, but that's interesting. But yeah, so very low interest, though. Very low interest. All right, everybody. See you later. And there will be videos tomorrow as well. Hopefully, I'll be covering the Barbie trailer tomorrow. That would be great. Okay, everybody, bye. Bye-bye, toodles. Bye, everybody, bye. Bye-bye, bye. -bye, bye.